Welcome back to Once Upon a Game, I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode I'm doing an unboxing of Manila, The Savage Streets, 1945. This is from Revo Revolution Games. This is the Solitaire Area Movement Series, Volume 2. Volume 1, I believe, was uh, Stalingrad, Advance to the Volga from last year, um, which I have not had an opportunity to cover on the channel. I will see about getting a copy and, and revealing that one as well. Uh, this is by, I believe, Michael, I'm going to say it right, Renella. Developer Roger Miller, Maps Encountered by Charles Kibler. The cover painting they identify as We Have Returned by James Dietz. It's very nice. Very, very, very cool. So as, as noted in the series, this is a, a single player only game. Uh, you're playing against the system. Um, don't know much more about it than that, but I've heard good things and I am looking forward to seeing what's inside and then later how it plays. All right, so it's not a big box, it's not a heavy box. It's a very quality box though, it's very thick, very durable. All right, so first thing we see is we've got four green dice and three red die. So the odds are stacked against the uh, against the reds here. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, yeah, green wins big time. We got a 12 and five, 17 to Let's see, nine. All right, so that work. Then we've got our rule book. Not very, not very heavy. I'm thinking about 16 pages, maybe. Yep, 16 pages. Uh, it is on uh, a matte finish, full color. Very nice. They've really upped their game lately, no pun intended, uh, with production values. So you're going to get the great artwork on the front. And then, you know, the usual introduction to the count, the components, credits. Uh, overview of the game and then right into the rules there is does not appear to be an index per se I like to tell you like where the rules end um, but let's see here we've got example of play starting there photo gallery there optional rules start on page eight so not going to be a very rules dense game and then a little column here of optional rules then we've got some photos from the actual battle. Followed by an example of play, a very short example of play, and then history and suggested reading. Then we do have an index and glossary to help you in that in that regard. So I guess I said index and then table of contents. You usually can peek at that and see how much you got. Then you got your counter sheet uh, manifest in case you need to verify a used copy or a copy after your cat knocked it on the floor or something. And then we've got the opening setup for the Japanese. Very, very cool. And permission is granted to copy this unit checklist for personal use. That's some cool uh, historical artwork there too. The 14th Corps, Liberators of Manila, Kings of the Solomons. Very cool. All right, so we've got our rule book. And then we have a reference card on coded card stock and it's got the sequence of play charts for the combat phase random event chart reinforcements withdrawals various charts you're going to need for playing during the game the defense strategy chart i assume you're going to be playing the americans in this and the ai will be playing the japanese but let's see if we can figure that out so you get the one Let's see if we can determine that. Don't know if you can play both sides. Uh, solitary game simulating the campaign of the American 14 Corps to capture the Japanese occupied city of Manila between February 6th and March 4th, 1945. Player commands the attacking American forces. Game rules handle the defending Japanese forces. So you do play the Americans. Doesn't bother me. Play the good guys. So. At least during the battle, the Japanese weren't the bad guys. The Japanese army and navy were the bad guys. Yada yada yada. Whatever. Anyway, so now you got a counter sheet. This is the front side. We already saw the manifest in the manual, but these are very nice, uh, large. Look, so it'd be about nine sixteenths counters. Uh, very clear, easy to read. 
very well centered. I haven't noticed a lot of war games having really off-centered counters anymore, so that, that seems to be doing printing processes seem to have improved, or design processes, that is. So there's the front, and there is the back of these counters. All right, one sheet. And then we have a mounted mat board. Always very nice. Very nice to have a mounted mat board. It's four panels, so it's not gonna be very big. I think 17 by 22. Um, and it opens out, which is also very nice. It opens, oh, it's kind of, kind of a square, but it's about 17 by 22, I think. I think the squareness of the actual map inset is what's giving it the illusion. But it's 17 by 22, it is mounted, and it does, and it does go as much as it can. There's only like five inches of play, but it does go landscape. So the solo player sitting here can reach the whole board. So it was a very good decision on their part. Very nice, very clearly marked. We have attack defense, attack defense value track. I believe this may have been added to the Stalingrad game as an offsheet thing created by Stuka Joe. Um, and they've been, it's nice to see they've incorporated here. I could be wrong, because again, I haven't seen that. I was reading something about that. So that's a nice feature they've added here. Um, very clear, very easy to read. Uh, I like the you know the historic map of the streets. In fact, they are named they are named streets. You know, Dewey Boulevard along the seawall, and um, so a very very good feel to it, very historical feel I should say. And then we've got uh, you got here your random event result chart, the morale for the U.S., the record, turn track, sequence of plays printed on the board. So very nice, very. This is gonna be cool. This is, it's nice to have a World War II game that is single player only. All right, so if you pick up a copy of Manila, The Savage Streets 1945 from Revolution Games, you're going to get that really cool mounted map. One sheet, not very counter dense, one sheet of very nice, large, easy to read counters. You're going to get the player reference aid with your charts on one double sided piece of coded cardstock. That 16 page rule book. Uh, which the rules go to about page eight, and seven dice in Christmas colors. And it looks like green still wins again. And that is everything in Manila, The Savage Streets, 1945. Designed by Michael Ronella. Brought to you by Revolution Games. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!